everybody. Uh, let's uh, look at uh, the presentation that I've built in. Before that, I introduce myself. My name is Mohit. I started uh, my business uh, with a BPO career uh, in 2006. In 2008, I come up with uh, a technology company where we started developing websites. In 2010, we entered into POS. So when I entered into POS, I came across a couple of restaurant years. And what I've seen is like they're using a lot of systems, but uh, different systems, some are doing manually uh, billing or some are uh, like uh, using different uh, inventory solutions. So as my viewpoint for an industry, as uh, Ritu uh, was saying in the morning, that uh, we require a system uh, in places. Like there is a lot of challenge in this industry like you uh, struggle with uh, scaling up, you struggle with uh, uh, giving a standardized solution, right, uh, to your customers. So what I feel is product, place, and price. Uh, it matters when you uh, go to the market. So if you have your system in place where you capture product, place, and price, you are into the market. So now uh, let me start my presentation. So. This one? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So let me start uh, with the presentation. The, you guys, are all restauranteurs, must be using different systems. Some of uh, uh, sitting here are uh, clients of mine also, so they, know, uh, they know about technology, what we are using in. Uh, we have a centralized solution. So we call it as a, a virtual back office. Now we, uh, as you uh, speak about a centralized uh, solution, web-based solutions, a lot of people have come across these web-based solutions. Now, if you talk about web-based POS, we all have experienced it, and you know, uh, some are quite bitter experiences. So right, uh, we work on a technology that, where we have a window-based uh, POS, so it's a window-based application which we install locally, and uh, we have a, a virtual uh, back office, that is web-based uh, uh, ERP solution which connects with this so it's all in one one solution so uh, forget about uh, the infrastructure problems in India as you know till date we encountered problems in Delhi restaurant is open there is no uh, backup connectivity there is no internet and you know people are struggling with the uh, uh, how to you know uh, run their web based POS so we have an add-on advantage there now as you work on the fly, as uh, like you can control your uh, complete uh, operations at your restaurants from your mobile. So it works seamlessly with any mobile, uh, either it's being an iOS or a window-based uh, uh, mobile you're using, or you're using any Blackberry or anything, Android. Like we recently launched Android POS as well. So that works seamlessly with all the Android uh, phones, uh, Android-based uh, tablets. And uh, we focused on like uh, manual engineering. So what I, when I speak about manual engineering, there are a lot of things that come up uh, in a restaurant your mind. Like we, uh, in the morning, uh, uh, people were discussing that, you know, when you change the location, you have to tweak a little bit with the recipe or you have to localize the recipe. Now when you come across with the localization of the recipe, you have to have that kind of information at the click of your hand. So where you are heading towards, is your food cost is, uh, is, is matching towards your, uh, the pricing, so what you're charging your customer. Are you overcharging it? What your competitor is charging? So you have to have a comparative analysis. So you get it on the click of a button at your mobile only. So, and uh, moreover, you are able to track which restaurant is doing good, which restaurant is, you know, a little bit struggling, where you are at the break even, where you have to, you know, push in with the sales and more. So like, uh, uh, as I talk about technology to any restaurant here, I talk about, it's, there is a saying, this is my fa favorite dialogue. In a restaurant business, you have to find out, murgi pehle aya ya anda. So it's, a, it's basically a situation where, you know, you are landing up into. Suppose you have started with your chain and then you, are, uh, uh, you have a kitchen where you 
uh, start uh, cooking all the dishes at one place. You started scaling up. Then you come up with a base kitchen. You have, you know, spent most of your time in doing menu engineering, in putting the recipes in place, in doing standardization. And when you scale up, you you realize that you know, uh, let us like uh, uh, Mr. Berman was. Uh, explaining in the morning that you know there is a need of getting into a base kitchen kind of a setup where we we standardize the things we keep the chef out of our kitchen so that is the hour of the need when you when you scale up right and it, it depends like on your uh, uh, brand as well like some brands are meant to be uh, manufactured there only and some uh, brands you can uh, scale up with the base kitchen so at that particular moment you don't want your recipes to be deviated so my tool will help you in uh, getting into a standardization process where you can scale up and you can able to control uh, uh, your recipes as well as portions you are uh, billing to the customer. Now, as we see in the market for upselling, we have a lot of uh, CRM and loyalty programs coming up. And many of my uh, clients as well works with variety of them in the market. So now, what happens in the end? Like, how you know your customer? You're using three different applications to track. Where is my, uh, uh, like, in Gurgaon, I have a restaurant. I'm working with one company, and he's giving me beautiful analytics. So how uh, I'm going to do it with my in-house walking customer? Or maybe I have a corporate catering. So I'm catering to my customers. I'm getting all the customer information in one particular system. So we have like open integrated solution where you know it can be linked to n number of crms we have already done with quite number of uh, companies uh, working uh, with restauranteurs and you can have a one insight of your customer you can track the frequency of the customer you can track uh, uh, the value given to the uh, value spent at your outlets to the customer and then as you move on you generate a lot of coupons like for promotions, uh, people are going to my dala. People are going to of you know food panda is offering a discount, or you are giving uh, them discounted coupons. We have seen how the industry is working. So like it has to be if you talk about a foolproof system. If you talk about like a system where you can rely on, you know how much promotion you are giving, what date and time it has to be evaluated on. So it has to be done from a single system, and it is linked with. Uh, the system which uh, are used in the market, which you are already working with. So it connects with that uh, and you have the better control of what you're offering to the customer so that it is not being misused. Now this is a small uh, uh, workflow that I've created and uh, we have already, you know, uh, have this system in place. We are, you know, uh, we're working with Sabar, we're working with Crispy King, couple of international chains uh, uh, which have came to uh, India and uh, what uh, uh, when we when we entered in the restaurant we have seen this uh, challenge that you know they are getting orders from different portals they they are trying to launch their own website being in a dilemma how this is being managed because you know it's all about we have we have been listening in since the morning it's all about customer experience it's all about what you're giving your customer, what you're, because, you know, as uh, our friend Zorava was telling us that we are afraid of this uh, Zomato tool can be misused. So how you can uh, uh, be assured that your operational excellence would come in any of your outlets? Like if you're operating a chain, you, we all are aware that, you know, we have SOPs based in. So we re-engineer our process. Like a new brand come in, a new site come in, new portal come in, we re-engineer our process and we train our staff. But we have to have one system which captures all the detail and will give you insights. Like you have customers uh, doing uh, uh, ordering from different portals, then you have uh, order coming in the POS, then it's going to uh, uh, your kitchen, then you are confirming it, then you are dispatching it. So like uh, my friend Mohit, uh, his name is also Mohit. So you, you have heard him that he is also uh, telling about uh, how he's uh, automated the logistic part, how he has taken that burden out of the restaurants. So like 
these, uh, these technologies, there are a lot of technology players coming around. So you require an engine where, which, can, which can be controlled, uh, 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 your chain of restaurants, which, which you know end of the day what is happening, how you are controlling it, what is happening at which outlet, is food cost coming down, coming up, who is present, who is absent, like we have HRM also included in this. So you can schedule stuff, you can see, uh, how, like, my, as, as per my perspective, I am a systems guy. You know, I, I every, see, every time I see that, you know, people are running behind numbers, but you have to have uh, your systems in place. So as for me, it's all, it's, it's work like a factory. It's a production. So you have to have a capacity planning. Tomorrow, if you're going to, uh, uh, like, launch a new dish, you're going to have 500 orders. Are you prepared for it in a, in a VR, like, like say, uh, in, uh, in a lunch? No. I, I suppose we don't plan like this. We, we plan like it's, it's a new order, it's coming up, new, uh, a new outlet coming up. Uh, we are uh, 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 launching a new product. We are advertising it in Zomato. So as uh, people all discuss that, it's all free advertising. So free advertising gives you a lot of business. But are you able to manage it? Are you able to ch check the insights? What is happening? We'll help you in doing that. So. Uh, as my next uh, slide will go into supply chain solution. So this is quite critical because if your backend is not ready, you are not able to scale up. So how you can get your backend ready? So like we have a uh, lot of uh, uh, insights from uh, like in last seven, eight years, we have, uh, uh, we have gone our, we have done our homework, we have met so many people, we worked with so many restaurants, we have come up with a dynamic solution where you know, as I said, Murgi Pele Aiya Anda. So where you, you're starting from your base kitchen or you're starting from a kitchen or you are tying up with your uh, any third party logistic uh, uh, player, uh, any supply chain, you are outsourcing it. You have a central warehouse. So we, we go by vendor integration. So vendor integration is important. How you generate your purchase orders, how you uh, do indenting at the outlet, uh, like you have a lead time in place, you when you are uh, giving order to the vendor, when he is delivering you, uh, the quality parameters integrated in it, then uh, uh, how you trace the performance, how you do the price mapping in it, a lot of concepts coming and then how you track, uh, track your depletion inventory. Like we, we, we all know that, you know, food is, it has to die of its own, like it's, it's a defined shelf life. So we, uh, it could be in hours, it could be in days, or it could be few couple of days, but it has to die. So. There has to be FIFO, there has to be LIFO. It, so a lot of, lot of concepts are there of supply chain, you know, and uh, we, we have built in, uh, uh, built in this application so that you can track. So if you know that, suppose imagine a situation, you are uh, operating a base kitchen and you got a complaint from a, uh, your manager that a customer is complaining this, uh, 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 this donut is, you know, uh, sour. So are you able to trace it in n number of locations? Uh, what batch it is, you have to. So that is the need of the R because we already know that you know uh, food safety is uh, t taking up and now customers are becoming more aware of. So you have to have those standards in place. So now uh, as far as the supply chain is concerned, it is again integrated with our, uh, uh, this is again virtual, this is on cloud and you can access it from anywhere. So even uh, the persons who are managing it, I know that you, a lot of people work on the fly. They have busy schedules. They have uh, late night uh, working hours. So they, the, we have validation systems in place where you know you are validating what your junior staff is doing so that it got uh, reflected in your inventory levels. Then we come up uh, with a uh, uh, very interesting solution for this industry. That is forecast of future. So as I told you that I'm a systems guy, I work on a lot of algorithms. So you give me a problem, I'll give you a solution. So for me, giving restaurant chain as a solution is not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing because the requirement keeps on changing. The industry is dynamic. So application has to be dynamic. You have to think dynamic. So what, what, we, uh, like what we linked in our system is uh, we do trend analysis what's happening, what's happening in and around your restaurants. We do comparative analysis, where were you last year, now where are you. Uh, we do forecasting of sales, we do labor scheduling as I told you, it's all production planning, capacity planning which we, we, uh, which we do at locations. 
then we have MIS in place where you, you can uh, take decisions. And uh, lastly, the decision support system, that is uh, like, that is what I uh, am doing work for. This is my dream. Decision support system. So system is telling you now what to do, when to increase price, what is the time to, for you to, you know, come up with a new concept. Now the trend is saying something different. What your comparative analysis is, is saying something different. So it's all, it's all science. It's all like uh, I've, I've uh, throughout these years, I've tried to, you know, uh, get into a lot of uh, artificial intelligence and we have come up with a solution which uh, we implement after uh, we have data. So we need data and we work with a lot of data. So this is what um, my company do. Uh, we love challenges, share challenges with us. I know uh, big chains work with very big systems, very big names, but uh, we have replaced many of them and we have given a very good solution. So I would love to uh, hear all your guys' problems, what you're facing. Wherever is there is challenge, you will find my name. Thank you. Uh, anybody if have a question I can answer or uh, I'm taking workshop tomorrow uh, best of the practices that we follow and we advise and uh, like we do uh, like this is the tomorrow session but we we all uh, we only don't provide systems we check it also so we make sure that your protocols are followed so we do a lot of uh, auditing services as well so uh, like I would like to know if any questions are there, or otherwise you can attend my workshop tomorrow post lunch. Tomorrow, okay, thank you.